Hey Fairview, this is Joshua, youth pastor here. Uh, we're continuing through the book of Psalms. Today we're in Psalm 91, if you want to turn there, and I'm going to pray real quick. Father, as we open your word, as we study your Psalms, once again, we thank you and praise you uh, for this inspiration you've given us to pray, to praise, ultimately to make our lives um, more worshipful, bringing more and more glory to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Like I said, today we're in Psalm 91, starting in verse 1. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways on their hands, lest they bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. Whoever calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 91 is a, a, a claim to the promises of God. But it's really important to remember that not all of these promises are for us. We will see pestilence. We've had a deadly pandemic rage through our country for the past two years. And even though uh, some of the response may have been exaggerated or what have you, there's no disagreement that we have disease in our lives. There's no disagreement that there is terror in our world with wars and rumors of wars continuing, not ceasing. So where is God in this circumstance? We see his promise to us at in the last three verses, because he holds fast to me in love. That's the Lord saying, because this person holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. These are promises made to the psalmist, but we have an opportunity to claim them, not with uh, physical security in this life, but with eternal security in the life to come. That is the beauty of the gospel. What Jesus has shown us is that, yes, in this life you may have trouble, but take heart, for he is the one who overcomes the world. The beauty of the Psalms is in the revelation of Jesus Christ. Because of him, we have eternal promises. We don't need these temporary ones anymore. His forgiveness and redemption is for forever and ultimately for his own glory. So brothers and sisters, I pray that you are encouraged that no matter what a, a type of circumstances you're facing, we have an eternal weight of glory beyond comparison with these troubles today. Have a blessed Thursday.